the Filipino Heritage Festival Incorporated in partnership with the National Commission for Culture and the Arts, Philippine Amusement and Gaming Corporation, Obi Montessori Center, DDB Group Philippines, Business World, and Security Bank Corporation. Presents the first in a series of tributes to the national artist of the Philippines. Alagad. Pagpugay sa mga pambansang alagad ng sining ng Pilipinas. A tribute to national artist Daisy Avellana. Daisy H. Avellana, actor, director, and writer, was born in Roja City, Capiz on January 26, 1917. She elevated legitimate theater and dramatic arts to a new level of excellence by staging and performing in breakthrough productions of classic Filipino and foreign plays and by encouraging the establishment of performing groups and the professionalization of Filipino theater. Together with her husband, national artist for film Lamberto Avellana, and other artists, she co-founded the Barangay Theater Guild in 1939, which paved the way for the popularization of theater and dramatic arts in the country, utilizing radio and television. She received the National Artist Distinction in 1999. She is best remembered for her portrayal of Candida Marasigan in the stage and film versions of Nick Joaquin's portrait of the artist as Filipino, both directed by her husband, Lamberto. Thus, this reading not only honors Daisy Avellana, but her husband, National Artist for Film, Lamberto Avellana, and Nick Joaquin, National Artist for Literature. Yes, listen. Fifty centavos for every rat caught. Now, I wonder where this Bureau of Health and Science is. I shall go there and offer my services. And Paula, you will give lessons. Lessons in the piano, lessons in Spanish. We will put up a sign. Now, Paula, remember, we must be bold. We must become women of the world. Did you see the newspaper girl? And she is younger than we are. We also can make money. It is the only way to save this house, Paula. We must show Manolo and Pepang that we can support ourselves, that we do not need their money. Girls for the piano, and some men for Spanish. So many of these young students are eager to learn the language nowadays, and men have more money, you know? Be bold. Drink a little wine before you face them. Talk in a loud voice. If they become fresh, call a policeman. We can arrange to have a policeman nearby during the first days. I shall be working at, at this uh, Bureau of Health and Science. If they are so eager to pay 50 centavos for one rat, how they will welcome somebody who is willing to catch as many rats as they want. And you know how well I do it. Imagine, to be paid to do something you enjoy. They will be amazed to see what an expert I am, and they will extend my work. I will be appointed to clear the entire city of rats. Of course, then, I would not have to catch the rats myself. I shall be a kind of director with a desk, a map, a staff of workers, 
and I shall make them all wear uniforms. <gasps> Still, time to time, I should want to do the actual catching myself, but only in the more difficult cases, of course. I must consult Manolo on what salary to ask. Oh, they have a sea of money rolling about in the government. Oh, I have it all planned out. We will make money, Paula. We will make money. And we will show Manolo and Pepang that we can keep up this house with our own efforts. We shall stay here till we die. You and I and Papa. Yes, and Papa. He will get well. He will come out of his room and we will be happy again. Just the three of us. It will be like the old days again. The old days? Yes. How happy we were. Just the three of us. You and I and Papa. In the mornings, we would go to church, the three of us together. Then after breakfast, you went off to market. I stayed here to clean the house while Papa read the newspapers. When you came back from market, we would all go down to the patio to take the sun. Papa in his rocking chair, smoking his pipe, and you and I walking round and round the fountain arm in arm, reading poems or singing, while all about us, the pigeons whirled. And then Papa would fall asleep in his chair, and we would go up and do the cooking. After lunch, the siesta, and then after the siesta, the merienda. Then Papa would go out for his afternoon stroll, and you and I would do the washing and ironing. After the supper, the rosary. Then we would play the piano for Papa. Or he would read to us from Calderon. If visitors dropped in, we would play tres yet. <laughs> Can we bring back those old days again? Those days before father had this accident, before he painted the picture. <sighs> All this Unpleasantness will pass, Paula. We will be happy again. All we need is money. Money and security. We will be at peace. Again. The three of us. Father will forgive us for what we did. And we will be all together again. We will be happy together again. The three of us. Tribute to National Artist Honorata Atang de la Rama. Honorata Atang de la Rama was a singer, an actor, producer, writer, and director 
of the art form known as the Sarasuela. Her most famous role was as Angelita in the Sarasuela, the Lagang Bukid. It was a role she reprised many times over since she first sang it as a 15-year-old girl. Atang became the very first actress in the very first locally produced Filipino film when she essayed the same role in the Sarsuela's film version. She toured the Sarsuela all over the Philippines, performing it to as many audiences as they could reach. She also inspired the many musical and literary geniuses to write condiman art songs for her to perform. She continued performing sarsuelas even as new reforms like Podabil took hold of the popular imagination. Her marriage to the poet, novelist, labor leader, and teacher, Amado Hernandez, marked a change in her life. Her art became infused with a fervent nationalism and activism. She was awarded the National Artist Recognition in 1987. Our tribute features an excerpt from Floyd Quintus's Atang Dulang May Musica, first produced for Dulaang UP's 33rd season in 2008. Sa seldang anim na metro ang parisukat, kub-kub ng rehas. May mga pinuslit na lapis at papel na pambalot na isda na dala ng kabiyak na nagkukunwaring kimi. Sa ganong paraan na isulat ni Kaamado ang mga obra niyang Bayang Malaya, Isandi Pang Langit, Luha ng buaya at mga ibong mandaragit. Sa laylayan ko dumaan ang lahat ng mga yan. Sa nakapusod kong buhok, itinago ang lapis na punyal ni Kaamado. At kung hindi yun tunay na romantisismo, ay ewan ko na. Noong mga panahong yun, damang-dama ko ang pagmamahala namin sa isa't isa. Binigyan ng parol si Kaamado noong 1956. Tuluyan siyang pinawalang sala noong 1964. Nagpatuloy ang buhay namin, patuloy ang kanyang pagsusulat, nagturo sa UP, sa Ateneo. Patuloy niyang pinaglaban ang mga karapatan ng mga manggagawa. Laging may pinagkakaabalahan, laging dapat Bayan ang nauuna at laging ako ang katuwang. Isang araw noong 1970, umuwi siya, masakit daw ang batok, nakapag-check pa ng papeles. Noong kinagabihan, tuluyan na siyang inatake. Dito. Dito siya namatay. Nakasandal sa dibdib ko. Adios, Kaamado. Naiintindihan ko. Siya. Humayo ka na. At yun ang huling salita ko sa kanya. Ayun. Naiiyak ka, Gia. Ako hindi na naiiyak. Maski nung pinarangalan ni Marcos si Kaamado bilang national artist, natawa na lang ako noon. Maski nang tuluyan na akong makalimutan, tapos pararangalan muli, tapos lilimuting muli. Maski nung nalaman kong gagawaran ako ni Cory ba? Pareho na kaming national artist ni Kaamado Gia. Pareho na kaming magiging mito. Sapat na ito. Gia.
Iha, anak. May hihilingin ako sa iyo. Huwag mo nang ituloy ang pelikula mo. Alam ko. Alam ko, gustong-gusto mo itong gawin. Pero ako nang magsasabi sa iyo, 84 na ako. Wala na. Tapos na. Kaya sa pelikula pa ang buhay ko, kaya humakot ito ng katakot-takot na award. Wala na. Walang ni isang pelikula sa buong mundo na makakapagbalik ng nakaraan. Nagawa ko na ang lahat ng yan. Kaya't pagbigyan mo ang aking kahilingan. Huwag ka nang umiyak, kaya. Kumawa ka na lang ng sarili mong kwento bilang alagad ng sine. Yan ang importante. Ang sarili mong kwento. Sarili mong misteryo. Hindi ka nga makikita ng madla bilang Atang de la Rama. Nakakanta ka naman sa harap mismo ni Atang. At naibigan ko ang iyong pagganap. Yan din ang tatandaan mo bilang alagad ng sining. Mas mahalaga ang naudyok mo ang iisang tao kesa sa libo-libong matutuwa lang at agad-agad din namang makakalimot. Sige, Iha. Awitan mo akong muli. A tribute to national artist Wilfrido Maria Guerrero, playwright, producer, and teacher, whose 35 years of devoted professorship has produced a generation of sterling luminaries in Philippine performing arts. As founder and artistic director of the UP Mobile Theater, he pioneered the concept of theater campus tours and delivered no less than 2,500 performances in a span of 19 committed years of service. By bringing theater to the countryside, Guerrero made it possible for students and audiences to experience live theater. But his most lasting legacy is his body of work, one act and full in place, which though originally written in English, have been translated into many Filipino languages and continue to be performed today. Guerrero has the unique distinction of being the first Filipino who has had a theater named after him in his own lifetime, the Wilfrido Maria Guerrero Theater of the University of the Philippines, Diliman. He was awarded the distinction of national artist in 1997. Peace? You think I've known peace all these years? I've searched for it like one insane. I've searched for it everywhere. In drink, gambling, solitude, even in women. There were nights when I would stay out in the streets and walking, just walking, walking without aim. I was just dragging my weary feet with my weary heart peace where could I find it oftentimes I would I would pass by this house and I would look up at the window but I never saw you just that one time that afternoon at the Escolta I was gesturing for you to stop the car I wanted to say a few words but you vanished out of sight and then that night lying in my bed I cried I cried like a frightened child searching for his mother in the darkness And then she came, 
and she asked me why. And I couldn't tell her. But she knew. I know that she knew. Why didn't you then? Why didn't you? Come back. The hopeless, despairing sense of guilt. And pride. And pride. <sighs> the things we destroy with our pride. And the things that we could heal if we didn't let pride get in the way. But now? That's why I'm here. That's why I came, Maria Teresa. Don't you see? Too late. Too late. You love me. Once. You love me still. I don't. No. I don't. You love me, Maria Teresa. You, you haven't stopped loving me as I haven't. That was eight years ago. No. no. You still love me, Maria Teresa. You haven't stopped loving me, Maria Teresa. I can feel the beating of your heart. You still love me. Say you do. Say you do. No, Ernesto. I don't love you now. I hope you still haven't forgotten that I'm still your husband. In the eyes of the law. But in the eyes of God, you broke the sacred contract that bound us in marriage. I haven't. For since you left, I've lived alone with Consuelo and my son, Ernestine. Our son. I had to. It was merely pride. The pride of a wife scorned. I wanted to prove to the world that I could bring up my child alone. I know how people pitied me, with a pity mixed with joyful scorn. But I didn't mind. I got used to it after a while. At first, there were nights when I wept, crushed by unbearable loneliness. And a little while ago, while you had me in your arms, I almost weakened. I nearly forgave you. I nearly received you back. But it was a passing weakness. Like the whiff of a perfume, it brought back memories. <laughs> Pleasant, beautiful, Heartbreaking memories, but it faded away. My heart momentarily blinded me when I was a woman. Now I'm the wife again, the wife cast aside, her rights trampled upon. And I awoke just in time. I promise you, I won't weaken again. I won't. How hard you become. Mm. <sighs> well, you've won, Maria Teresa. Our son doesn't recognize me anymore. Mm. I'm afraid then that nothing else can be said. You raised him well. He's an intelligent boy too. Very intelligent. But his tia Consuelo also helped in his upbringing. I'm proud of him. You. I mean, have you? You haven't changed your mind? <laughs> so.
So, you're happy living in this place. Can't I do something? Why can't you forgive me? Even when I promised to do that test with Ernestine. Many women would... Yes, Ernesto. The average Filipino woman would easily forgive her erring, unfaithful husband. Because for centuries, she has been used to be in the background, to be a slave to her husband. Slave? When you left me and your son, Ernesto, he treated me even less than a slave. Well, I'm different. When I married you, I resolved to be a good wife and I expected to be treated as such. When you left me, I decided I was to remain a mother to Ernestine, at the same time an individual. I wanted to retain my self-respect, even if my husband didn't have any. When we live together, I promise I will let you be what you are and what you wish. Never again, Ernesto. But are you sure? Maybe someday... Kindly remember that I didn't force this loneliness myself. You did. Yes, but are you sure? Maybe someday... What? Regret my step? Perhaps. But if I do, I shall have myself only to blame. And I have my work. No person can get lonely when he's working. But what about my loneliness? That's of your making, Ernesto. So... Do you want... a pension? For me, no. For Ernesting, if you wish. I'll have the lawyer draft it tomorrow. May I? I mean, have you a picture of Ernesting? In this locket. His. And yours. Keep the locket. Take good care of Ernestine. Bye then. Forever. A tribute to national artist Rolando Tim, director, actor, playwright, translator, poet, teacher, and critic. He marked his career with prolific artistic productions. Dino's chief distinction is as a stage director whose original insights into the scripts he handled brought forward productions notable for their visual impact and intellectual cogency. Subsequently, after staging productions for the Ateneo Experimental Theater, its organizer and administrator as well, he took on Teatro Filipino. 
Teatro Pilipino championed the strength, power, and beauty of the Tagalog language in its stagings of traditional Filipino drama like the Comedia. But it was in the excellent translations of the classics of Western drama that Tino's gift as a thinker and a translator were most revealed and appreciated. It was not only the classics of Western theater that he translated, but opera as well. His full-length productions of Verdi's La Traviata and Puccini's La Boheme featured not only his direction and design, but his full translations of the original Italian libretto. His full-length productions of Verdi's La Traviata and Puccini's La Boheme featured not only his direction and design, but his full translations of the original Italian libretto. A full library of Rolando Tino's poetry, translations, original plays, and essays has yet to be collected and made available to the public. He was accorded the distinction of national artist in 2003.
A tribute to national artist Severino Montano. Playwright, director, actor, and theater organizer, Severino Montano is a forerunner in institutionalizing legitimate theater in the Philippines. Taking up courses and graduate degrees abroad, he honed and shared his expertise with his countrymates. As Dean of Instruction of the Philippine Normal College, Montano organized the Arena Theater to bring drama to many. He trained and directed the new generations of dramatists, including Rolando Tino, Emanuel Borlasa, Juni Gamboa, and Ben Cervantes. He established a graduate program at the Philippine Normal College for the training of playwrights, directors, technicians, actors, and designers. He also established the Arena Theater Playwriting Contest where the young Wilfrido Maya Guerrero was discovered. The Love of Leonor Rivera, a three-act play written by Severino Montano in 1952. The play in English is about the undying love of Leonor Rivera for Jose Rizal. It traces her slow descent into depression and death as she persistently waits for the man she loves to return to her. While the love of Leonor Rivera is undoubtedly the most famous of his plays, Montano was equally adept at writing hilarious social satire as well as pointed social realism. He was awarded the distinction of national artist in 2001. I want so much to write to him. But there's something that stops me. The truth is that with him, I simply cannot bear to be angry. Mother cannot make me believe Pepito has forgotten us. In fact, my heart keeps telling me that one of these days, he will surprise us and visit us. Nonetheless, I shall never get tired of watching for him at the window. <laughs> Sometimes I imagine he is just turning around the corner, saying hello to our neighbors. And from there, he is quickly walking towards our house. And then, she sees me. He sees me. <laughs> He's waving his hat so gallantly at me. Oh, so many times I have read his novel that I can recite every part of the story backwards. He began it in Madrid three years ago and he was most lonesome for my company. And then he wrote a fourth of it in Spain. And then he wrote the fourth of it in Paris and completed the rest in Berlin. It's a good thing Mino Viola lent him the money to have it published or copies would have never reached us here in the Philippines. He was short of money and hungry most of the time. But he didn't mind the cold 
and the pain of hunger. Really? As long as he was writing and had me in his memory. As long as he could write something to make our dreary lives so beautiful. And because of what he has written, he has earned the eternal hatred of the Spaniards here in the Philippines. And for that, I am destined perhaps to suffer. But I shall wait for him. For I know that in spite of the wrath of the rulers, he will be faithful to me. But it's only Pepito I want to hear from. <laughs> Why doesn't he just come to me? <sighs> only Chengoy brings reliable news to him these days since he returned six months ago. And that's not once in a while. All, all is silent. And I, I can't bear this long, impenetrable silence. I can't stand it. My heart isn't made of an iron. Papa? Pepito? Is it really you? I can't believe my eyes. The years were so long. My life has been so lonely. I have no way to stop the tears. Is it really you? Are you real? Can I actually touch you? <sighs> to have you here so close to me after all these years. I can't believe my eyes. I don't know what it is, but I, I don't care. I don't care if this moment is, is real or a mad mist in my mind. I want to be happy. I want to be happy a little. I don't care if this moment is just a remembrance or or an illusion i don't care if i die or or be be crazy after you're gone i must look at you and talk to you once more i must ask you to forgive me come into the light with me And then, tell me what has happened to us. Help me bridge the gap so I may have peace in my heart. Love. No, don't. Don't torture me, please. Please don't turn away from me. How can I make you believe it is only you I've ever loved?
Why don't you answer me? Say something to me. Please. Please, anything. Please don't turn away from me. Death. You know, I've always wanted it. It's like being on the hilltop and you can see everything in its proper perspective. I can touch the stars. And they are so beautiful in their silence. <sighs> Men are so miserable. They've forgotten to look at the stars. <sighs> you will touch them, darling. I know you will touch them. And before you go to your great death, before you say goodbye to Earth, tell me once more you love me. Say it also to life that wasn't too kind to us. Say it to the stupidity of men, those, those foolish, crazy, mortal down there far below us. Say it, darling, say it. For soon we are going to reach the hilltop. Come away. My darling, come away. A tribute to national artist Salvador Bernal. Salvador F. Bernal designed more than 300 theater productions, all distinguished for their originality and their striking visual impact. He designed both sets and costumes for classics of the world repertoire, opera, original Filipino plays and musicals, ballets and adaptations of Asian theater forms. Sensitive to the budget limitations of local productions, he harnessed the design potential of inexpensive local materials pioneering or maximizing the use of bamboo, raw abaca and abaca fiber, hemped twine, rattan chain links, and gauze. As the acknowledged guru of contemporary Filipino theater design, Bernal shared his skills with younger designers through his classes at the University of the Philippines and the Ateneo de Manila University, and through the programs he created for the CCP Production Design Center, which he himself conceptualized and organized. To promote and professionalize theater design, he organized PATDAT, or Philippine Association of Theater Designers and Technicians, in 1995. And by way of the Philippine Center of the International Theater Organization, OISTAT, he introduced Philippine theater design to the world. He was awarded the distinction of National Artist in 2003.
Tribute to national artist Amelia La Peña Bonifacio. Known as the Grand Dame of Southeast Asian Children's Theater, she is the founder and playwright director of the Teatro Mulat ng Pilipinas, which has placed the Philippines on the artistic map of world theater. She has written most of the plays performed by the group, based on materials called from painstaking research. She has also been involved in the production and design of the puppets. All in all, what she has achieved is an indigenous fusion of puppetry, children's literature, folklore, and theater. Since 1985, Puppet Passion has been opening up horizons to audiences of all ages, bringing them the story of Christ's passion, death, and resurrection using different art forms connected to our culture, puppetry, senacolo, and passion. La Peña Bonifacio, known as Lola Amel, to the children who have seen the puppets come to life, grew up admiring these forms of culture and wanting to share them to the new generation, wrote and directed the first puppet passion. Puppet Passion is the only Senacolo in the Philippines performed in puppetry to date. She was awarded the distinction of National Artist in 2018. Ito na siya! Ito na siya! Ating salubungin! Thank you. 
Nagpakita si Jesus sa ikatlong araw, tulad ng sabi niya kay Magdalena. Tapos, nagpakita rin siya sa kanyang mga apostoles. Ganito ang suot niya. Ang liwanag na nakabalot sa kanya ay mas maputi pa sa kanyang balabal. Babay, Jesus! Babay! Magbalik ka ulit, ha? Magbalik ka ulit, Jesus! Babay, Jesus! Babay! Babay, Jesus! Babay! Babay! Babay, Jesus! the national artists of the Philippines in the field of theater. Their lives, their gifts, their legacies live on in every young Filipino theater artist. <laughs>